Hey everybody, good morning. Back here in the home office. Now we are down here because I had to uh, salute the Pittsburgh Penguins on that big win last night. We'll get to that in a moment. But also my son Robbie, who is a hardworking student at that incredible place, Penn State Beaver, had a rare morning off. So dad is letting him sleep while I'm working. He's a good kid, does very good in school, and he deserves to get a little extra rest whenever he can. So he is resting upstairs comfortably while I am hard at work. You know, one of the things my son, whenever he comes here, he's always requesting food, right folks? So I wanna thank my friend Paul Miller and P-Dubs here in Manaka and the United States Postal Service. Cause look, man, my son is gonna eat like a king. There you go. I love what Paul Miller does. It's an incredible establishment. Paul, I'll get there when I can, brother. I've just been a little busy. But Sunday, three topping large pizzas all day. Monday, hard tacos. Tuesday, boneless wings. Wednesday, chicken or steak salad. And Friday, baked or fried fish dinner. And my buddy, George Johnson says, this is the fish that like spills off the plate. And Saturday, gyro. Not too bad, huh? Anyway, Paul Miller, P-Dub, look for it, like him on Facebook, check it out. Now, as far as the Penguins go, Sidney Crosby got the hat trick last night, and the Pens were high flying at the PPG Paints Arena, and they did a number on the Philadelphia Flyers, who are probably waking up today wondering what happened. The final was 7 0. It was an incredible night for your Pittsburgh Penguins. Genzel scored, Malcolm scored, Russ scored, Haglin scored. So, all of us that are huge Penguin fans and that AAA East Central Penguins rally towel, very excited for the Penguins as they are underway in round one of the postseason. Now, game two coming up tomorrow night, they'll drop the puck at seven. You can go to Paul Miller's and watch it on one of his many incredible HD TVs. Or if you're lucky, maybe you might even be at PPG Paints Arena, but better yet, don't forget NBC Sports Network, the great Doc Emmerich with the call. Now, as far as our Pirates are concerned, they didn't have such a pleasurable day at Wrigley Field. Tyler Glass now gave up Four earned runs early. He exited. Pirates lost 13-5, but never fear. Two teams back at it again today. They'll be playing at 2.20 this afternoon. It is Trevor Williams on the hill for the Pirates. You can hear it on 93.7 The Fan. Don't forget, throughout the weekend, Coons Quality Food Sports with me, Rob Pratt, every half hour beginning at 5.15 a.m. on KDKA Radio from the Chafin Lahana Law Firm Studios and then we'll talk about everything that is Penguins hockey, Pirates, and much more on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show. Now, tomorrow I'll be in for my Pintech noon to three. We're going to be talking about a number of stories, including one that I'm going to tell you about when we come back in headlines in just a moment. I found it very interesting that French President Emmanuel Macron says that they have proof that Syria was the culprit behind that horrific bombing and attack, nerve agent gas, many believe that killed 43 people over the weekend, many of them children. We'll talk about that. And also Paul Ryan, a big story that trended yesterday. At the end of his term, the 20-year veteran of Congress and the Speaker of the House has decided to not run again. So what does that do for the midterm elections and the future of the agenda of President Trump? So we'll talk about all of that tomorrow. Now, quick reminder in the way of sports, later today, we are gonna be making our way to the beautiful South Hills of Pittsburgh. I know, folks, it never ends for your Pratt Pack. We'll be at the office of Dr. Bill Zamorella, Pitt Dental School. Of course, he is one of the biggest Pitt Panther fans I have ever met. We're going to talk a little bit about post-spring practice and give you the schedule and some thoughts about Pitt football heading into next year. And, of course, Pitt Panther football all season long, 93.7 The Fan. So I'm going to do a little more laundry, a little more work, 8 o'clock coffee from Coons Market, and then I'll be back in a couple of minutes with your headlines. Stay with us, and uh, it's so nice that you could join me today right here with your Pratt Pack.